Hello fellow crocheters, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel. I will be making a small in this video but you can find sizes from X small to 3X large in the written pattern over at my Etsy shop. I will link my shop and this pattern in the description box below as well as timestamps to help you follow along. So let's just move on to the supplies. So to get started on this pattern, over here I have my category 4 yarn and I'm using my 5mm hook. All I'm going to do now is just make a slip knot and you can do that any way you would like. Just like that. So now we're going to make a chain of 78. So to make that chain you just want to yarn over and pull through and that's one chain. And just keep on going until you have a chain of 78. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up working my chain of 78. Once you have finished this chain, we're going to work a foundation row of single crochets. So just beginning into the second chain from our hook, we're just going to insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And that is one single crochet. Again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you just wanted to repeat this process for each chain all the way across your row. And by the end of this row, you should have a total of 77 stitches. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and work this, work this row of single crochets, and then I will meet you back when I'm all done here. So guys, I just finished doing that row of single crochets going all the way down my chain and you should again have a total of 77 stitches. Now we're just going to chain one to start each row and then turn your work. So now beginning into this first stitch, we're going to work a front post half double crochet. So to do that, you just want to yarn over, insert your hook into this very front post, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through three, just like that. Now to the next stitch, we're going to work a back post half double. So it's very similar, we're just going to yarn over, but we're going to insert your hook into the very back post, if I could get in there, there we go, into the back post like that, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and it looks kind of messy right now, but once we work all the way down the row, it'll become a little bit more clear. But basically, you just want to alternate those front post and back post half double crochets all the way down this row. So once again, into the next stitch, we're now going to do a front post half double. Just like that, and then into the next stitch, we're going to do a back post half double. And then another front post just like this and again I'm just going to work alternating those back and front post half double crochets all the way down my row here and then I will meet you back once I have reached the end okay guys so I just finished up working alternating those back post and front post half double crochets all the way down my row and then once you make it to the end here as you can see I'm just going to chain one and then turn our work 
So to begin row three, it'll just be a little bit different. The only difference between this row and the last row is that we will, we will begin with a back post half double crochet instead of a front post half double crochet. So just into this very first stitch, as I mentioned, we're going to begin with a back post half double crochet. Just like that. And you just want to repeat alternating those back and front post half double crochets all the way down this row just as you did last time. And I'm just going to work this back post just like this. So again, just alternating those back and front post half double crochets coming all the way down your row. The only difference between this row and the last row was that we began with a back post. So I'm going to finish this up really quickly and then I will meet you back at the end. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up that row alternating those back and front post half doubles. And then as always, I'm just going to chain one and then turn my work. Just like that. So to continue our pattern, all you want to do is repeat this row we just completed and the previous row until you have a total of seven rows. And again, the only difference between those last two rows is that one started with a front post half double and the other one started with a back post half double. So I'm just going to go off camera, finish those seven rows, and then I will meet you back for our finished border. Alrighty guys, so I am back here with my seven rows and this is what my work is looking like so far. Once we have completed this bottom border, we can now get started on row eight. So to get started on row eight, I'm just going to chain one and then turn my work as usual. Then now beginning into this first stitch, we're going to work a regular single crochet, just like that. And then now we're going to chain one, and then we're going to skip the next stitch, and into the next stitch, we're going to work another single crochet, just like that. And we're going to, and we're going to repeat this process going all the way down our row. But I'm going to do this with you guys again. So again, chain one, skip one stitch, into the next stitch, work another single crochet. Again, chain one, skip a stitch, work another single crochet, just like this. So I'm going to repeat this process coming all the way down my row, then I will meet you back once I have reached the end. So I am back here and I just finished working that all the way down our row. And you just want to and you just want to repeat that row we just completed until you have a total of 70 rows. So I'm just going to start this off with you guys really quickly just to show you one more time. All we're going to do is just chain one, turn our work, and then beginning into this first stitch, we're going to work a single crochet chain one, skip a stitch, and then work another single crochet. Just like that. And so this is row nine, and just to remind you guys one more time, you want to keep on doing this until you have 70 rows in total. So I'm going to go off camera, finish that up, and then I will meet you back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up working my 70 rows in total and this is what my work is looking like. So it looks really good so far. But now once you have finished those 70 rows, we're now going to start on the collar border up here. So let's get started on that. 
So to get started on this collar border, I've already chained and then turned my work. Now we're going to continue our pattern, just chaining and then single crocheting and then skipping a stitch until we have 31 stitches across. So let me just show you what that means. So just into this first stitch, as always, I'm just going to work a single crochet. Then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip a stitch. And then once again, a single crochet just like this. And you want to continue this pattern until you until you have gone 31 stitches across your row. So you're not going to go all 77 stitches across, just 31 stitches across. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Alrighty guys, so we just worked those 30 stitches coming all the way across. And as you can see, we did not go all the way across our row. We just start we just stopped at the 30 first stitch right over here. So now we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to re we're going to repeat this row. I've already chained and then turned my work. And then now I'm just going to continue our pattern going all the way back down our work. So we're not going to change a single thing. We're just going to crochet all the way back down. So guys, as you can see, I just worked all the way back down our row. As always, just chaining and then turning my work back around. And then now this row is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do the same thing as last time, except we're going to stop when we have two stitches remaining. So I'm just going to work across here just until I have two stitches remaining. Alrighty guys, so I just worked all the way back down my row again, and as you can see, I have these two stitches remaining for this row. And into these last two stitches, we're going to be working a decrease. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch, just like that. I want to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then into the next stitch, I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, just like this. So now we have three loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through all three. So we just work a decrease into that very last stitch. As always, I'm just going to chain and then turn my work all the way around. And then now this is going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to do a chain of two this time. So instead of chaining one, we chain two. And we're going to skip this first stitch and into the next stitch we're going to work a single crochet. It's a little bit, it's just a little bit different to start that row off. Just chain two, skip the first stitch, and then single crochet. So now you can just continue your pattern going all the way across your row as you normally would. Alrighty guys, so I just worked all the way down my row. So just to continue this pattern, you want to repeat those last four rows we did until you have a total of 19 rows. So you can go back into the video if you need to, but I'm just going to do this one row with you. So if you can remember the first row we just did, starting into this first stitch, we're just going to work a single crochet just as you normally would and again just repeating those last four rows that we did until we have a total of 19. So I'm going to work that off camera then I will meet you back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up doing my 19 rows over here and once I reached the end all I did was just cut and tie off. So now we pretty much need to repeat the same process on the other side. 
And to do that, you just want to count 15 stitches from this point to this point, and then insert your hook into the 16th stitch. So I've already done that. I've already put my hook right here. Then all you want to do is just slip stitch, chain one, just like that. And then once you have slip stitched into the 16th stitch, all we're going to do is just continue our pattern, which is just single crocheting, chaining, and then skipping a stitch. And I'm just going to work this all the way down my row. And keep in mind that you should have 31 stitches by the end. And then once you've made it to the end of your row, again, you should have 31 stitches in total. I'm just going to chain one and then just turn my work as you normally would. So now we're going to work all the way down our row until we have two stitches remaining because we're going to work another decrease. But I'm just going to work this one more time into this first stitch, just continuing our pattern until we have two stitches remaining. And then once you worked all the way down your row until you have two stitches remaining, all you're going to do is just work a decrease as you normally would, just like that, chain one, and then turn your work, very similar to last time. Now just beginning into this first stitch, we're just going to work our pattern going all the way down our row as we normally would, not doing anything fancy. So I just worked all the way down my row. I chained and then turned my work. Now we're going to continue our pattern once again until we have two stitches remaining. And then once you have these two stitches remaining, all we're going to do is just work another decrease at the end here. Except the only difference between this row is that we're going to do a chain of two instead of one. And then once again, just turning your work. And then after you have chained a two, we're going to skip this first stitch and into the next stitch, work a single crochet. And then we can just continue our pattern all the way down our row one more time. After you have worked this row all the way down, just like last time, you want to repeat the last four previous rows that we just did until you have a total of 18 rows. Not 19, but 18 rows. So I'm going to alternate these four rows and then I will meet you back with my 18 rows. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up doing both of my sides to my pattern. And once that is all complete, you want to repeat this process for another time. So just starting with the very first row that we did, you want to repeat this entire back panel. So over here, I have already repeated this because the back and front panels are exactly the same. Here is my work. And then once you have completed both your front and back panels, we can now just start the seaming to our work. So to start our seaming, what I'm going to do is that I will start in this very corner right here and I'm going to work all the way up my work until I leave a 6 inch gap. So I'm going to stop about right here so that I leave 6 inches and this will become our armhole. And to seam, you can use single crochets or slip stitches, whichever one you want. Just seam as you normally would. But after you have completed this side, you are of course just going to repeat that same thing, just starting from the corner, just seaming all the way up here, and then leaving a 6 inch gap to form our armhole. And then once you have completed that, you're just going to quickly go ahead and seam these two sections to our shoulder piece right here. So just seam along here and along here. And then once you have completed all of that, you can now just turn your work inside out to hide all of the seams. 
So I'm gonna work this really quickly, then I will meet you back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I have just finished up my seaming to our work. Just to recap really quickly, I seamed all across the side here, leaving a six inch gap for our armhole. Then I seamed across here, and I did that on the other side as well. So once you have finished all the seaming to your work, we're now just going to get started on the sleeve. So to get started on the sleeve, I'm going to turn right over here and I'm going to insert my hook into the seam of our armhole. Just slip stitching to secure. And then after you have slip stitched right into here, I'm just going to chain up of one and then turn my work. Now just starting into this first stitch, we're going to work all the way around our sleeves, just treating every single row as if it were one stitch. There's no exact number of stitches here, but you do want to make sure that you have an odd number of stitches. But just to start this off here, just beginning into this first stitch, I'm just going to work single crochets into each stitch all the way around my work as you can see here. So I just worked all the way around my row with these single crochets and then now just to join this row all I'm going to do is slip stitch into that very first stitch to join. I'll chain up of one and then turn my work. So now we just want to we just want to repeat row one until we have a total of 12 rows just just single crocheting into each stitch slip stitching to join each row and not forgetting to chain and then turn your work. So that's really easy. All you want to do is just repeat that row until you have 12 rows in total. I'm going to go off camera, finish that up really quickly, then I will meet you back when I'm done. Okay guys, so I am back here once again. I just finished up doing my 12 rows as you can see here. Once we have completed that, we'll now start on the ribboning. So to begin row 13, it is going to be very similar to the row that we did for our border all along here. But we're basically starting into this first stitch, we're going to, we're going to alternate back post and front post half double crochets. So beginning into this first stitch, we're just going to work a front post half double crochet, just as you normally would, just like that. And then into the next stitch, we're going to work one back post half double crochet, just like that. And then once again, working another back post, I mean front post, and then another back post. So just keep on alternating the front and back post half double crochets all the way along this row. This is what my work is looking like, but I'm going to, re I'm going to repeat doing that all the way around my row here, then I will meet you back at the end. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up row 13, alternating those back and front post half double crochets. And as always, I slip stitch, chained, and then turned my work at the end. Now for row 14, it is going to be pretty much identical to this row we just completed. The only difference would be that we're going to start with a back post half double crochet instead of a front post. So just beginning into this first stitch, I'm going to work a back post half double crochet, just like that. And then into the next stitch, a front post, just as you normally would. And then just continue alternating these back and front posts, as you can see right here. So we're just going to continue repeating this row and the previous row until you have a total of 18 rows for your sleeve. And again, the only difference between this row and the previous row is that one starts with a back post half double and the other one starts with a front post half double. So I'm just going to go off camera, finish this ribboning, and then I will meet you back for our finished sleeve. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up working this border as you can see and now I have a total of 18 rows for my sleeve. So after that I just cut and tied off 
And then of course you want to repeat that same process on the other side of your work, just like this. So then once you have completed both sides of your sleeve, we're going to move on to the very last step, which is just working this collar here. So let's get started on that. So to get started on this collar border over here, I have over here my hook. And you can just insert your hook on anywhere of the edge of your collar. Then I just chained one. So now this is really easy to do. We're pretty much going to do the same thing as we did over here on our sleeve. But I'm just going to, starting into this first stitch, just work a foundation row coming all the way around my work. But I'm just going to do that really quickly, just working single crochets in each row, cheating one row for one stitch. Working all the way around here, and then I'll meet you back. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. As you can see, I just worked those single crochets coming all the way around my collar over here. And then once I reached the end, all I did was just slip stitch into the first stitch to join. I chained one and then turned my work. And then now I'm just going to tell you what we're going to do because we're going to just repeat the same process as we did for the sleeves and I feel like I don't need to explain it again. But basically you're just going to repeat alternating um, back and back post and front post half double crochets and again you, you remember that you need to alternate both of those rows and I'm pretty much just going to do that until I have a total of five rows for my collar so I just thought it was really easy to do and that we've already worked the same process for our sleeve over here so I'm just going to work those five rows just alternating those regular back and front post half double crocheting rows slip stitching into the first stitch to join so I'm going to do that really quickly off camera, then I will meet you back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up doing those five rows for our collar, as you can see. I just alternated those two rows of back and front post half double crochets, just as we did over here, nothing different. And then once you finish this collar, all you have to do is cut and tie off. And then you're pretty much all done with your project. The last thing you need to do is just tie in all of your ends. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. If you bought this pattern, it would be very helpful if you left a positive review on my new Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching.